Well, the pandemic has created more opportunities for people to cook. That cooking, along with everything else, can create cooking fatigue. Registered dietitian Carol Harrison joins us with tips on how to beat that fatigue. Did I mention, Carol, how sick I am of zesting? Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Bob, well, you know what? If that's the worst of your problems, I think you're doing okay. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are kind of doing the, we're getting into a rut here. So you've got some great ideas with batch cooking to save time yes. as well. Yes, that's right. Because, you know, a lot of us are just feeling stretched with that cooking fatigue at three meals a day, seven days a week. And I want to share a great technique with you, big batch cooking as a way to really give us all a little bit of a break, a little bit of breathing room, right? Some of us have kids at home, we're trying to work. It's, it's tough times, it's strong. families are struggling, I think, with meal times. Yeah, okay, well, let's get you to work here. What are we starting with? Sure thing, okay, well, I'm going to showcase uh, two nutritious staples, uh, meal makers, so this is gonna be beans and ground beef that we can use to make uh, some great meals throughout the week. So the trick, again, like I said, is big batch cooking. So what we start off with is in my pot, actually two kilograms of ground beef. So that's a great meal maker. It's minced beef, nothing added, uh, one ingredient. Uh, and I'll give that 10 minutes in my pot. And I'm, I'm going to add, Bob, you'll love this, some really aromatic spices. So cumin, coriander, chili, paprika, uh, the recipes on my website, yummylunchclub.ca, and a resource called Cook Smart. So that cooks down for 10 minutes. And then we're going to add all these veggies here. That works out to about four cups of vegetables, which is really quite significant. So we get those veggies in there, and uh, that's going to uh, give us a lot of nutrients. That's now really protein packed. It's also filled with uh, iron and B12 and zinc and selenium. Those nutrients that we know help us to keep our immune system working really well, which is really important for folks right now, right? We're all trying to stay yeah. healthy as well. Sounds good. Okay. And storage-wise, uh, what do we need to know? Yes, there is. So one thing um, I want to highlight is that when you store this uh, and freeze it, it'll last for three months. So you've got a great meal maker here. What I do is I spread it out thin on a sheet pan so it cools real quick, pop it in the freezer for one hour, Bob, and then once it, it cools right down, then I would portion it out into single meal portions. And this is something your teenagers could take out of the fridge and they could use to uh, make meals very, very easy. It's a great head start, a jump start on four meals, which I wanna show you right here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so like I said, uh, that would, that would go in the freezer for maybe uh, up to three months. And you could use that for a variety of things. So one is a Tex-Mex bowl here. So I've got just veggies that you have on hand. Use what you have on hand, what's on sale. We're not all going out to the grocery store last minute for items. So I happen to have carrots and cabbage, some leftover ground rice. I'll put some of that big beach, big batch beef Mexicala in there. Of course, when you're, um, Putting this on the sheet pan as well, you can always add in beans. So canned beans are just as nutritious as dry beans, of course, uh, versatile, full of fiber. So I'm going to add some beans in my Mexican bowl there as well. That's my favorite part. Is it real? I love beans too. Yeah. You can mash beans, you can make bean dips. Uh, for anyone who wants to use dry, what I suggest is they go to OntarioBeanGrowers.ca. They've got great videos on how to cook them dry because we're all relying on our pantry staples now, right? But yeah. Dry will keep in your pantry for a year, Bob. Like, you know, you're, you're good till this time next year with beans on hand. Okay. <laughs> so you can, of course. Hopefully the pandemic know, won't go that long. What's that? Hopefully the pandemic doesn't go that long. We'll be well oh, out of it. Oh, I know, I know. So chili, right? Topping a baked potato. Talk about healthy comfort food, of course. I'm a, a fan of sweet potatoes. It's got about 10% or 10 times more vitamin A than regular potatoes. Just so gorgeous. Microwave a baked potato and then top it with your chili. Of course, canned soups. You know, lots of people are just relying on canned soups for real quick and easy meals these days. No harm with that. Take some vegetable soup if it's homemade or canned. Add, again, those beans and the beef. That's going to be chock full of hunger curbing protein now. More of a meal maker, right? And again, you can see how your teenagers could do this at home. The last one for you, Bob, is quesadillas. Oh. You could create a quesadilla board for your kids for lunch or for dinner. Again, take out all the fixings, use what you have on hand. Of course, I've got whole 
wheat tortillas here, some cheese, some jalapenos. If you don't have fresh, jarred, of course, is absolutely fine. You're gonna, of course, flip that over. A teenager could easily pop that into a pan, heat it up on both sides, add, you know, some chopped up fruit, and they've got a great lunch. Absolutely, so convenient. Yeah, convenient and healthy as heck. Thank you, Carol. That's we'll link great. up your website for those recipes uh, on the Morning Live page at chch.com. And good to see you. Happy New Year. Yes, likewise. And same to you. Keep well and safe.